There are many thousands of women in Australia and around the world who have been treated for cancer. And fortunately, survival for many of common cancers is improving. A downside of that is that many common treatments for cancer will also cause infertility. Egg producing cells result in fertility of a female and also regulate the timing of onset of menopause. Premature menopause can be a cause for poor quality of life for women and health problems such as osteoporosis and an increased risk of heart disease. We've been very interested in the control of life and death of a cell and in particular egg producing cells in the female ovary have been of great interest. We discovered that two of these proteins, Puma and Noxa, were responsible for death of egg producing cells following some cancer treatments. One of the problems with with cancer therapy is that once the supply of egg producing cells has been damaged, there's no way of getting those egg producing cells back. We discovered that egg producing cells that lacked puma were able to survive following cancer treatment. This was because they were able to repair the DNA damage that had occurred. These egg producing cells were capable of producing normal offspring and that brings real hope for improved fertility in women. I think this is very exciting work for women's health generally and for women who've had cancer specifically. Another area where this work might be very important clinically is in women who go through menopause prematurely and that's less than 40 years or early which is less than 45 years. We want to identify a way to target the puma protein by targeting the puma protein specifically in these egg producing cells, we hope to prevent loss of fertility and to prevent premature menopause. This could impact on long-term health for women and even the onset of natural menopause.